Hi everyone. So we've covered a lot of things over the past few weeks, but now we are looking at one of my personal favorite topics, the financial statements. What are the common terms you find in there and what exactly do they mean? When you have your accounts, they are going to be classed into different sections. We call these the most basic accounts we have. Number one, assets. These are things you own. Things like your laptop, tables, chairs, any machinery or equipment you'd be using in your business. They are physically yours and you can do with them as you please. Then you have liabilities. Now this is the thing that everybody hates because it's debt. That's just the simplest term to put it. These are the people you owe money to, whether it's a bank for a loan or CEDA or YDF, or maybe even your supplier because you had to get some inventory on credit. These are people who you owe money to and they are called liabilities. Then we have expenses, which are entirely different from your liabilities and assets in that these are the things that help your business operate. You don't own them, you don't owe them, but you do have to pay for them either way because without them, your business can't function. These are things like your telephone and internet, your utilities, your rent, and any other expense that you have to incur in normal day-to-day -day business. Then we have equity which is essentially the value of your business. How much money have you put into your business? Did you put in things in kind? Is it physical cash? Did you sell shares to investors? What is the capital value of your business? And the last one is income. This is the money that comes into your business. Some of it will be from selling your services or products, but a smart business owner will also have savings that they'll earn interest from and investments that they'll earn dividends from. So you want to make sure that your income encompasses all of these things and you categorize it correctly. These are the accounts that will eventually go into your financial statements, into your income statement and into your balance sheet. But this is the basic start of all the financial statements. Let me give you an example of perhaps a piggy bank. If I buy a piggy bank, that becomes my asset. And so the piggy bank works to store money for me. So what I'll be doing is taking my money and putting it in my asset, which is my piggy bank. But at some point in time, I may feel that I want to borrow money from my friend Tom. So I will go to Tom and say, Tom, can you perhaps borrow me 100 pula? And then if I have that, that's now a debt in that I have to repay Tom his 100 pula. So I will put that 100 pula, however, in the piggy bank, which is the asset. And then if we talk about equity now, equity is simply the money in my asset, in my piggy bank, which is actually mine and which is not a liability. So the money in my piggy bank, which I have put in there, which is mine and is not Tom's, remains as my equity. So it's the residual value, which is my own, which I get to keep and I don't have to repay anybody. In simple terms, that's your assets, liabilities and equity. If you would like to test your skills and figure out whether or not you know everything I've just said, click the link below to take our online test and catch our other videos to stay friends with money.